the last section that we're going to cover in this introductory course to Tractor is the browser details section of the preferences. So the first setting in the browser, browser details section is under the editing section and it's called allow inline editing in list window. So what this does is it allows you to edit the track names and other metadata about the track right in this browser window. So if this is checked, you can just come in here, double click and type in something that you want and then click enter and it's edited. Or you can come on the comment, type in something here, click enter and it's edited. I'm going to remove all these edits from now because I actually do not need them. So this is useful if you want to be able to edit the info right in line versus if you not have it checked then you cannot edit it in line. The next is the font size that Tractor uses. Um, and there is a few fonts that you can pick from if you wanted to. Uh, and there's also the font size. So if you want it to be bigger or smaller, you can make it however you want. Next is the spacing of rows that Tractor uses in the browser. So you can make it bigger if you do not see this well or you can make it smaller if you want to see more tracks and you're comfortable with this uh, text being smooshed together like this. It's up to you. Usually the default value does quite well here but you're more than welcome to change it to your own liking. Next is show preview player. Preview player is this right here and this allows you to preview uh, to pre-listen to your tracks without having to load them in the decks and you can disable or enable it. Cover art is this icon which shows the cover art if it's available or shows nothing if it's not available um, and it's up to you whether you want to show cover art but usually it's probably a good idea to disable this because most laptop screens are small and you would want to custom, you would want to maximize the area of your browser so you can see more tracks here. So playlist favorites, it is this section right here, and you can enable or disable it. Usually, it's a good idea to enable this section because it it's these are good shortcuts. It shows the history of tracks played, it gives you the track collection and you can customize some shortcuts um, when, when you need to and this also gives you a quick access to them. Track info can be shown at the bottom if you enable this but usually it's probably a good idea to disable this because this browser gives you more than enough details about the track uh, that's current that is available and also uh, the deck itself shows you more than enough information about the track and like it's been already mentioned in the previous videos all of these fields in these rows can be customized and you can include all kinds of metadata about the track right here show the status bar or error messages this is this bar right here at the very bottom of tractor and it's recommended to always have it because it it'll quickly show you if there is a problem or if tractor is doing analysis of the track in order to be grid it properly uh, so this bar will show you exactly what's going on um, with the track so this is always a good idea to have this enabled. 
So this uh, concludes the introductory course to, to Tractor Pro 2.